guess what? That's got a new package in the mail, so I'm going to review it. Straight from New England. Packaging. Got a little cooking thing. Cool. So I can go out there and looks like get food in the mail. I don't feel like going to the grocery store. And here it is. The actual product that I got. In all its glory. Smart Wi-Fi LED bulb. 50 watts. And next to that, a smart plug. Both from TP-Link. I'm going to be opening both of them. Make the plastic wrap off of these. Oh, opening the light bulb first. And there it is. Not for emergency lighting, it says. I guess because it's because it requires it to hook up to Wi-Fi, so if Wi-Fi goes out and the emergency batteries are up, your lights are not going to turn on. So, back to the unboxing. Let's see what's in here. Happy with your product? We're glad and we love that you shared your experience. Here's a few ways to start. Connect with us on Facebook and Twitter. Share your experience with others. Check out more smart products for your home. Things not going as planned? Want to make sure you're happy. Which is why we have a dedicated support team available to help you if you have questions. Our team is ready to answer them. So there's a little card. Technical support. And here's the getting started guide. Switch off the light switch controlling the bulb and wait for the bulb to cool down. Do not install a smart bulb when, with wet hands or when standing on a wet or damp surface. Not suitable for use with standard in-wall dimmers. Dimmable via the app only. Suitable for use in operating environments between negative 20 degrees Celsius and 40 degrees Celsius, or 4 degrees Fahrenheit and 104 degrees Fahrenheit. So for the installation, you download TP-Link Casa from the App Store or Google Play. Connect mobile device up to your 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network. Note the smart bulbs only support 2.4 GHz networks. Launch CASA and following the in-app instructions to connect the smart bulb to your home network. We'll do that momentarily. Frequently asked questions. The smart bulb appears offline or unreachable. What should I do? Check the light switch and make sure that it's switched to the on position. The smart bulb requires an always on power supply to operate properly. Make sure you are connected to the same Wi-Fi network to control it locally. To control the smart bulb outside your home, sign into your CASA account and enable remote control. Reset the smart bulb and reconnect it to your Wi-Fi. How do I reset my smart bulb? To reset without losing your configurations or settings, turn the light switch control to the off position first, then flick the light switch on and off three times. To factory reset, turn the light switch controlling the bulb to the off, then flick the light switch on and off five times. Note that the factory Resetting the smart bulb will erase all your custom settings and you have to set it up again. Can I control the smart bulb from multiple devices? Yes. Download the TP Link Casa to each device and sign in using the same Casa account. How far can it be and still be able to control the smart bulbs? You can be anywhere in the world and still be able to control your smart bulb as long as you have an active internet connection and remote control enabled. And for support, if you encounter any issues during installation, or configuration, please visit tplink.com for support for web support and troubleshooting information. So we'll follow all those steps. And just as a recap, it doesn't support 5 GHz networks, only 2.4 GHz networks. But pretty much all Wi-Fi out there supports 2.4. And there is the bulb wrapped in plastic wrap. There it is in all its glory. It says TP-Link, has a standard socket below it, and for a bit of, it just has caution notations on it.
not for use in totally enclosed luminaries, risk of electrical shock suitable for damp locations, do not use with dimmers. It has it in other languages too. It's FCC certified and UL certified. So there it is. Put it back in there really quickly. And we'll go and open up the other one. The smart plug. Now this one has a little bit of instructions getting started. GNU public license agreement. Open source. It's good to know. This one just says download the TP Link or Casa app, connect a mobile device to your Wi Fi network, and then set it up. Pretty much the same thing as I would say. And there is the smart plug in Holt's Glory. Alright, let's go over here to the Play Store and we'll type in TP Link. TP Link Casa. I had to go and uninstall an app because I don't have enough space. Here we go, Casa for mobile. Downloading. And installing. And take us a little bit. And now we'll open it. I'm going to create an account. So I create an account, click the create account button, now it wants me to verify my email. And use my current location to set the sunrise and sunset time. Now we get to add a device. I'm going to configure this device, smart plug. Plugging it in. Let's start with an amber or orange light. And a blink. It's letting you know it's initiating. Then it'll turn to a solid green and salt amber blinking to letting you know that the Wi-Fi access point is enabled to be configured from your application. And to finish it off, I'm going to connect this to an actual device. And it's configuring. So it's TP-Link Smart Plug EDBF. That's a smart plug. Got EF bedside, the bedside lamp, no control, save device. And the Wi Fi password. We're almost done. Then I'll start blinking solid green until it goes to solid green, letting you know it's connected. Smart plug is all set up. It's now saving your device list. I can turn it on and turn it off. And the light comes on and off as a result. So there we have it. And here's the activation email that they send. So we just click on that. Then you'll be able to remotely control your switch from when you're away from the home and all that. And even log in to be able to see the usage status and so forth and so on. We're going to set up the actual light bulb now. So I was going to require turning off the lights, taking out the old bulb. Still kind of hot. There's the old bulb right there. Put that right there. And we'll take the new smart bulb and put it in place. Screw it in nice and tight. Not too tight, not too loose. Now we're going to go back over here. And flip the switch. And it comes on just like that. So now if we go over here to our tablet. Oh, now it's blinking. I don't know why it blunk or blinked. 
think it's just letting us know something. If we go over to the Wi-Fi settings. You know, so there's a TP-Link smart bulb C915. And that is where we configure it using the CASA app. So we open up the CASA. Push a little add button if this is your second device. Go to smart bulb. It says install your smart bulb. First make sure the power is off on the light you're replacing. Solve the current bulb with your smart bulb. Note. Metal lamp sh shades may degrade your smart bulb's performance. It's not metal, so don't have to worry about that. Power up your smart bulb. Power on the light. Wait about five seconds until the smart bulb blinks three times. It already did that. My smart bulb didn't blink. Well, it did blink. Now it's waiting. We're trying to find the network. Looking for your smart bulb. This might take a minute. Device name. And change that to E F Bed Room. And then go to next. It's saving. And I'm going to go with that one, closest it has to what it looks like. Then you put in your Wi-Fi password, I already have. So I'm going to push next. Almost done. We are finishing your smart bulb configuration and adding it to your home network. And as you can see, the dimming in and out, showing that it's been connected. Almost done. Great. Your smart bulb was all set up. It's now saved in your device list. So there it is. You can turn it on and off via the app. And I can even adjust the settings. So I can go all the way to one. It's barely on. Look at that, very dim. And all the way back on. And I can set a schedule by clicking the add button. And I can configure all the different things to repeat every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So I can have a come on automatically, turn off automatically, and so forth and so on. So we can say, for instance, at Eight o'clock in the morning. I want it to turn on. It's the last on state. Repeat every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And I push save. And then it will turn into a schedule, turn o'clock at 8 o'clock in the morning. So it'll wake me up every day. What a convenient setting that is. So there it is. In all its glory.